Hello. Well, it's the first time that I've done a video in a while. Um, but anyway, uh, I've been quite busy just lately with uh, giving English lessons to people. So uh, at the moment, uh, I've got around to charging the battery up because, uh, uh, well, about two weeks ago, uh, I ended up leaving uh, the lights on on Mega Bread Van, and of course the battery went flat. So it's the first time the battery's gone flat since I bought it in uh, summer last year, and it's the first time I've charged a battery up ever. So it may sound a little bit uh, silly to some who are used to doing that sort of thing, but uh, as I'm not mechanically minded at all, I guess uh, Mega Bread Van is a little project for me. So. We'll just give you a quick show of the uh, of the battery and where it is on on the van, in case you don't know. And uh, it's going to be a very short video. It's nice and mild here. Hopefully, it will stay mildish tomorrow morning, so at least I can give it a charge overnight. So basically, it's an uh, an Aldi bought charger. And you can see, it's uh, it's got all the markings on to to show when it's supposed to be charged. So we'll have to see what happens tomorrow morning and see if it's partially charged or fully charged. But uh, I just want to say grateful thanks to my brother-in-law because uh, there I was in a uh, uh, little uh, car park having done my shopping and uh, my uh, battery gone flat. Which is a bit weird because the all the lights and um, warnings and things on the dashboard working perfectly fine. As with the interior light, interior light, but uh, I know nothing. Uh, there probably was enough charge for, to power things that uh, don't need a lot of power, but I couldn't turn the engine over, so it had to come out and uh, give me uh, a jump charge, and off I went. And since then, poor old Mega Bread Van has been sitting here, looking very forlorn, and very sad, and very dirty too. Um, the last two, two and a half weeks, I think. I've been so busy, uh, and in between the school holiday started last week, so it's permitted me work and kids and house and cooking and washing up and doing all sorts of boring things like that. So, poor Mega Bread Van has been sitting here waiting for me to charge it up. You know, and the uh, main problem with that is my lessons are usually in the evening and in the day I'm just too busy so there we go so you've got uh, the battery underneath the front passenger seat but what have we got under the driver's seat you may ask we shall see oh. needs a good clean in here because I haven't touched it and it's rained quite a bit lately so you've got water coming in from I don't know where um, so anyway so underneath the driver's seat if I can find the catch there we go is a little cubby hole can't really see it very well because it's a bit dark there we go, a little cubby hole where I've put the little hoover which hasn't got any use because obviously it's very dirty in here you see all the dust and so there you go, with both the seats up, you've got your cubby hole this side, which is basically uh, in front of the fuel tank, I think. I think that is the fuel tank actually at the bottom. Uh, you've got the inlet there, the, the uh, filler cap there, which goes through to here, and all of that under there. It's a bit silly me putting that in there, it's too dark. All that under there's a fuel tank, so basically you've got a little cubby hole just above the fuel tank. There we go. So put that down. So the next uh, thing to do is to next projects after I've charged the battery up, um, is to sort out the gear lever once and for all. And for that I bought a microchip, microchip, micro switch, a micro switch. I'm tired, sorry. Uh, a micro switch which cost me the princely sum of 18 euros for a tilly little thing which needs changing for the drive and neutral. There's two micro switches in the gear lever. Uh, there's one for drive and neutral and another one for neutral and reverse. So that needs changing. 
And I think at some point, because winter's coming on and it's getting a little bit uh, chilly and damp, uh, although it isn't very chilly today, uh, I need to look at what's causing water to leak into the cab. And that could be any manner of things. Whoops, I'm dropping the seat belt in the door. As you can see, it's full of you know, the gutter in front of the one window wiper uh, is full of um, God knows what because, of course, right next to us we've got all these lovely trees and one of these trees has got to go, this one here because it's just chucking stuff all over the place all around the, the van, all over the car, over there basically everywhere so that doesn't really help with keeping uh, my van clean. Uh, all these places here on the, on the roof. I don't look at the roof. Can't really see it very well from here, but I can see it quite well on the screen. So that one needs cleaning. So basically, um, yeah, the next project is going to be the gear lever, seeing where the water's coming from, which is appearing. I'll have to open the door again now. Appearing down below here somewhere on the floor and I also need to probably add a bit more um, substantial ceiling here I bought some I think I was thinking about putting it perhaps along here along this side here so we've got this one that's the usual standard thing but I thought about putting another one here because when you close the doors well I can't do it on the other door because I've got the battery charger there but when you close the doors You've got like a gap just here, and I know on the passenger side door uh, that gap is a lot smaller, but on here it's quite a lot wider, and you can see that it's quite big here. So when it rains, the water gets in here as well along this corner. So I'm going to have to put some sort of sealant around here inside. Not sealant, but uh, you know, um, draft excluder, I suppose you'd call it. Doesn't sound very technical. But I think at some point the door has had a bit of damage because uh, there's a nice big scratch on there. And as I've said in another video, um, this panel is all loose down the bottom. Yeah, it's all loose there. I'll just pan out a bit so you can see a bit more. Now it moves. And I actually bought some special glue to glue the plastic back again because these uh, these vans are basically a metal cage with plastic bits glued to it so that sort of like uh, makes you feel very safe I suppose but uh, makes it also very light and quite strong I suppose for what it is anyway I'll leave you there leave that to charge up by the way of propping the door closed somehow up let's push it too for now I think I'll probably nick my daughter's scooter so I can do that but if it rains tomorrow it's gonna be fun anyway let's see what we can do let's see if we can plan B oh, that might work perhaps not that way. Just something to prop the door closed as if it's closed because I don't want to close it completely because the cables at the bottom there. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe if you feel you're interested enough to follow my videos. Uh, I'm afraid I don't sort of like churn them out very quickly. In fact I've got another one that I took uh, in September which hasn't even appeared on YouTube yet. So that's the next one to do and then this one but I need to do things like a title sequence and I don't know I could put a sponsored by Pylons Royce Beef which is my English lessons anyway I'll leave it there thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in another video take care bye bye